So if this is the matrix A, and I call this vector X, then multiplying A by that vector X is going to result in a new vector. So I'm going to take this matrix and multiply by 0, 1. First of all, if we're going to multiply these two things, we should check that the dimensions will work. So my A matrix is 2 by 2, and our X vector is 2 by 1. Those inner dimensions match, and the outer dimension will tell me how large the result is. So I know that my answer should be a two by one. Well, when we do this, I'm gonna have two times zero, zero, I'm not gonna write it, plus negative three times one. And then I'll have five times zero, that's zero, plus seven. So this matrix transforms the vector 0, 1 into the vector negative 3, 7. So if I were graphing this negative 3, 7, I really did not leave myself enough space over here. Didn't realize how big my numbers were going to get. We started with the vector 0, 1. And now this vector has turned into the vector negative 3, 7. So that's 3 to the left and up 7. 3 to the left. So in general, what a matrix does as a linear transformation, it's changing one vector into some completely different vector. If I started with a different vector, so there I started with the vector 0, 1. Um, oh, and just to kind of add some vocabulary to this, if this was my vector x, then this is the image of x under the transformation. And we would write this as a times x. So that's the result when I take that x vector and multiply it by a. So if I pick another vector, so let's say I started with the vector, let's, that was x, I'll call this a. Um, and let's say that that a vector as a column vector, it looks to me like that's about maybe three to the right and down one. So that a vector is going to be 3, negative 1. And if I want to know what the transformation is, I'm going to, again, take my a matrix and multiply it now by my vector, 3, negative 1. We already know the dimensions are going to work. So we'll go ahead and do that multiplication. So now I'm looking at 2 times 3, so that's 6, plus another 3, so that's 9. 5 times 3 is 15, but minus 7, 15 minus 7 should be 8. So I say the image of A as a vector under the transformation matrix, big A, sorry, I should have chosen different letters there, is, nine, is a vector 9, 8. So 9 over here, 8 up here. I'm just going to fake it and say that would be A times A. So it took this vector and turned it into that one.